Hey Dusty, you wanna get your ex back? I've just got the thing for you. I know it's gonna work, so let's get started. I'm Leopoldine and today on the Mindful Shift podcast, we're talking about how everyone is your mirror. The famous concept, everyone is you, pushed out. You know, or sometimes we get into those situations where we're like, why does this thing happen to me? Or... I never thought this would head up like this. And at the same time, you tell yourself, I knew it. Well, I do believe that our thoughts create our experiences in our lives, including our interactions with others. Think about it like this. Everyone is a mirror, a reflection of us. So if you think someone is worried or stressed out, they probably are. And if you think they don't love you anymore consistently, they probably don't. If you haven't joined our tribe yet, I invite you to doing so now and give the thumbs up to this video. The podcast is designed to empower you and help you create your best life. I remember this friend I had in college who was always complaining about her boyfriend being distant and not caring about her. But one day, I realized that she was thinking constantly those thoughts about him. Like, he doesn't love me anymore, he's not committed to our relationship, like I want him to. And then, guess what? Sadly, that's exactly what happened. A reality showed it to her and he left her. So step one is to admit, whether you were the dumpy or the dumper, that your thoughts create your reality. Yes, it can be tough to admit that we created the situation in the first place. But it's the first thing to change it entirely. And even if your thoughts played a role in it, even if you were the one who got dumped, don't put yourself in a desperate mindset and low self-esteem. Like, oh my god, I so need them back. I can't live without them. Instead, I want you to own the fact that you created the situation and take control of your thoughts. Because bestie, that means you can turn the things around. Yes, you're that powerful. By admitting that your thoughts created the situation in the first place, you can start to manifest them back into your life. And literally anything, honestly. But only when you're committed to your new chosen story. You don't have to believe it, though. And instead of thinking, I'm not good enough, he will never pick me back, start to think, I created this so I can change it. So let's focus on creating a new reality for ourselves and take control of our life and thoughts, right? So now that we've talked about acknowledging the power of our thoughts to create our reality, let's get to step number two, creating your new story. You know, I was thinking about it the other day when I was going through a tough time with my best friend. We had this big fight and I was convinced that she didn't want it to be my friend anymore and she was just done. But then I realized that my thoughts were literally running wild in negative scenarios that weren't even happening. Like, she don't want to talk to me anymore, she's so done, she's so angry with me, upset with me again, she will never forgive me for what I said. And honestly, those thoughts were literally making me feel even more anxious and scared. So I decided to write every single thought that make me anxious and doubting. Like I wrote literally, she's upset with me because I hurt her and she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. And then I crossed those sentences and rewrote what I wanted instead. So I wrote, she loves me for who I am unconditionally. My best friend and I have always had the perfect relationship. We never stay mad at each other for long. And in a very short time, it was crazy all this tiny exercises changed entirely my mindset. I started to feel more positive and hopeful about the situation and eventually my bestie reached out and we worked it out. So step number two is all about creating a new story by rewriting your opposite thoughts or negative thoughts you have. Take a piece of paper and write down every single thought you have that's holding you back from getting what you want. It could be things like, they will never get me back, they don't love me anymore like that, they are not interested to be with me. Cross those out and rewrite the things you want instead. For example, 
They love me and only me. They always wanted me and only me. They want to be around me all the time. They always message me. They are so obsessed with me. We always been together. By doing this, you're not only changing your mindset, but also reprogramming your subconscious mind around the whole relationship. And trust me, it works. You start to feel more confident and empowered and you'll be amazed at how your reality starts to shift in your favor. So now that we've talked about acknowledging our thoughts and creating the new story, let's get to step number three, eliminating and battering doubts. You know how sometimes we get caught up in our head and thoughts, even doubts, right? Like when we're manifesting to get our ass back, we might still think, oh, there is no way they have a take me back. I'm not just good enough for them. But the thing is, those thoughts and doubts are only the result of past experiences and negative self-talk. I remember when I was going through a tough breakup that we called pause with my ex. We were three years in the relationships and I was convinced it will never take me back. And I would catch myself thinking, it's definitely moved on. You don't want to have anything to do with me. But then I realized that those thoughts were only holding me back to move forward. So I started to reframe those thoughts with what I wanted instead. Is crawling back to me because he realized he made a mistake. Or he's still mad in love with me and he keeps messaging me all the time. It took consistency and focus, but eventually my doubt started to fade away and my confidence grew. And guess what? My ex did reach out and we ended up getting back together at that time. Side note, we are not together at the moment. <laughs> but that was my decision because after three more years together, it was the end for me. So step number three is all about silencing that voice of doubt, silencing that wavering and making sure your desired reality is more louder. Every time you're thinking about your situation with your ex, make sure you're reinforcing your new story. Tell yourself, they're calling me all the time. They're so madly in love with me. They asked me back out yesterday. Create scenarios that makes you feel good and confident. Remember, you have the power to create your own reality. You are already manifesting what you are experiencing in your life. So what not create something better for yourself? You can have your ex back if you want to. You can have anything you desire if you put it on focus, consistency and time. Now I know I put a lot of information in this video. So feel free to ask any questions in the comment below. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. Have a wonderful week bestie. And remember... It's not the end until you get what you want.